Hi there, stampers and crafters. My name is Tammy White from stampwithtammy.com and today we're going to be playing with Paper Pumpkin. I got my March 2020 Paper Pumpkin kit. It actually came yesterday. Uh, we did the Stampin' Scoop yesterday so I thought well, we'll space it out a little bit rather than doing right on top of each other so we can have a little fun and I've got to tell you I cheated. I opened the box because I could not wait to see that free stamp set and I may or may not have played with it a little bit so I'm not only going to show you uh, the the cards in the kit, but I'm also going to make some bonus uh, note cards out of that free stamp set. So it is so friggin' adorable. And Mary, you don't need to rewind because I'm going to show you the cards again, I promise. <laughs> I showed them during the pregame show. For those of you who are on early, um, this is the March, uh, it's called uh, No Matter the Weather Paper Pumpkin Kit, which I think is very aptly named for our times right now. We're going to be making these adorable cards. This is um, a monthly kit that comes every month, and this happens to be Paper Pumpkin's seven-year anniversary, so that was kind of cool. And they had an extra party with the box, not only because it is so freaking adorable, right? I want to hear your ideas on how you're upcycling this box, because there's no way anybody's throwing this super cute box away, right? I love the boxes almost as much as the cards. So I want to hear your ideas on what you're doing with it. I know a lot of times I'll, I've been storing my blends in and my Stampin' Blends, but I want to do something special with this one. So it's really, really cute. So because it's their seven year anniversary, they have um, a bonus free stamp set that came in this kit. So two stamp sets came in the kit. So I'm gonna show you that too. I'm gonna show you everything that came in the kit. And not only make these cards, but make the bonus cards too. Uh, Paper Pumpkin is a monthly kit. It is, um, once a month it comes, the subscription period uh, ends on the 10th of each month for that month. So right now we are in the subscription period for April. It has everything that is included um, to make the projects is, are included. Did I start? Let's start that over. Everything that you need to make the projects are included in the box. That shouldn't have been a tongue twister, right? But it was somehow. There are two ways to get Paper Pumpkin. There is um, prepaid paper pumpkin kits that you can get in my online store. You can prepay for one month, three months, six months, um, or 12 months, or you can get a monthly subscription and that just keeps on going until you pause or cancel. And you can pause and cancel at any time. But it, I'll tell you right, it's the best thing to get in the mailbox and especially right now. It couldn't have come at a better time because right now I feel like I need, <laughs> I can't stop stamping, I just need to stamp. Some of the bonuses right now is it's celebration time which means for every $50 you spend in my online store, you get free stuff. And that includes Paper Pumpkin, the prepaid kit. So if you buy your prepaid kit three, six, or 12 months, you get free celebration stuff. But that ends on March 31st. So that is uh, not very far away. I know a lot of you say that you wait for this time of year to get your 12 months uh, up subscription so that you can get all the freebies that come along with it. But you want to hurry up because that is ending and I mentioned uh, we're in the subscription period now for April. And they give us a little teaser about what's coming. I kind of like the mystery, right? And this one is going to be Love Your Family. However, they've told us, I know all not all of our families are conventional. You know, sometimes we, our clans are different. But this one will fit all or most lifestyles. So um, it's going to be a fun one. I have a little teaser video on my blog that I really, it almost made me cry. <laughs> it was just one of those really sweet uh, commercials and they give a little sneak at what's coming. All right, so one last thing before we get started and that's Prize Patrol. I am doing something a little different today. Normally when it's Paper Pumpkin Day, I give away um, paper pumpkins. So I normally give these away. I, I order a few extra just so I can do that for you guys. But with everything going on right now, I really feel like people need these kits in your hands. I feel like you need to keep your hands busy. It's keeping me sane and hopefully, you know, so out there you guys are feeling the same thing. It's just, you know, it's just something to keep you busy. And um, so I thought instead of giving these kits away, I think I'm going to sell them. So I only have a few immediately following this video. If you did not get this kit but would like one, I'll post on Facebook as soon as this resource page is up and I will have a link there to purchase the couple that I have. The first ones to pay are the first ones to get them. Um, so don't bother posting here on the on the video because I'm not I'm not going to get it bet here. It's just as soon as I'll post when it's up, pop on there. And if you're one of the first ones to pay, you're the first ones to get it. <laughs> that's, I think that's the fairest way to do it. Um, and so because I did that, I decided to get something different away. And this is I think you're going to like this one too. As you can see, it's the Tags in Bloom, which is a level two 
celebration stamp set. So it's, you have to spend $100 to get this one free. It's rare. It's hard to get. And it's part of the second release of celebration. So um, I just figured you guys would appreciate that giveaway as well as, you know, the paper pumpkin kits. So I'm going to draw one winner immediately following this broadcast. And all you need to do is leave a comment on this video, whether you're watching it live or if you're watching the replay on YouTube or Facebook, you can still leave a comment because I'm drawing one live, but I'm also drawing one on March 30th. So I'll be giving two away. All right, let's get started. Okay, right? Stinking cute. So cute. So this, it's March 2020 and the kit's name is No Matter the Weather. And uh, yeah, it's just, I knew when I saw the, the, you know, they give you a little sneak ahead of time, like they're giving us with April right now. And I knew when I saw these boots and I, this special edition box, I was going to flip and I did. I did. They did not disappoint. So these are the cards that the kit makes. It always comes with instructions, obviously, but you don't need them. You can check them because I'm going to show you how to make them or, or I'm going to show you um, the mistakes not to make when we make them. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. And um, in the back, it tells us everything that's included. I'm going to I'm going to show you everything here. But here's what's kits. Here's what's cool. I'm even going to zoom in just a hair more here. So you guys can see that in some good light. They also have alternate projects for the kit. So this is kind of cool. So these are some more ideas that you can do with the products and the free stamp sets that are the, the stamp set and the free stamp set that are in the kit. There's two stamp sets in this kit this month. Um, I will also be doing um, an alternate project video in addition to this. So um, the alternate projects that I am doing today, because I am doing some today with that free stamp set are, are not part of my alternate projects. So they're just bonus. <laughs> just bonus. I think you're going to like them. Okay. So because it's their seven year anniversary, they decided to have a little party and they're giving us a free stamp set. So here it is. I, I know I couldn't wait. I peaked. And not only that, you can tell I already used it, right? So this is called Spring Splash. This um, this was the, the, pro the present that they gave us. They were having their own party and they put it in the box for us and it's so stinking adorable. So I'm going to do some stamping with this after we do the kit. And, um, uh, just adorable. So it's got the, uh, the boots, everything kind of matches the kit there. You know, it's got, um, the boots are all part of the kit. So very cute. And that is, uh, the free, the free set, but wait, there's more. That's just the beginning. I laid everything out here just so you guys can see. This is the stamp set that came with the kit. It's called no matter the weather. And, um, it, it's so adorable. It's got some great sayings in here. It's great. I'm telling you, so it's so appropriate, right? It's so appropriate for right now. Now, every kit comes with its own, um, its own exclusive stamp set. So if you're a new stamper and you're just collecting on your, your supplies, this, these are great to get. They're great to start with because it comes with an ink spot and this month it is gray, uh, basic gray. It's different every month. And uh, we've got this exclusive stamp set. And then you're going to get whoa, all of this. My, uh, you know what, my sympathies and my heart goes out to you, Karen, and everybody in Utah. I mean, not only are we dealing with this, the, the coronavirus right now, but yeah, that was a big earthquake that you guys got in Utah. And that's, that was really scary. So uh, yeah, it's quite the day. So <laughs> I hope you guys have power back and I hope everybody is safe and okay. Um, those of you who are affected by that. And so we're going to keep going with the stamp therapy. <laughs> All right. So it came with four sheets of die cuts here. These are so stinking cute. We're going to make, uh, I'm going to make one of each card, but the kit actually makes 12 cards. It's going to make four of each of the cards that we're going to make today. But I'm going to save some of these supplies so that we can use them for alternate projects. And in addition to that, we've got these die cuts for um, their tags for our greetings. I'm going to go ahead and pop some of those out and get them ready for us. And then look at this, you guys. These are so flipping adorable. So these are the card bases here. There's three different designs and the kit's going to make four of each. And they're no card size. They're very, they're very, very sweet. And that one, of course, matches the box and the free stamp set, right? It matches the free stamp set. Here's another one. This one will make very nice backgrounds. I'm, I'm, you know, like this one, I don't think the original intent was the beach, but that's what I'm, the, the vibe I'm getting from it. So when I do alternate projects that might, might, may or may not come up. And then here's another one here. Very, very sweet. Okay. There is envelopes. 
and they're lined. Look at this. So there was three different colors and I suppose you could mix and match however you would like them with the, the colors that come in the kit. And the colors that come in this kit, if I just put the instructions down, are balmy blue, basic gray, calypso coral, grapefruit grove, gray granite, pear pizzazz, petal pink, shaded spruce, and so saffron. So shaded spruce, so saffron, and petal pink. Is that petal pink or blushing bride? Uh, blush blossom. Is it blush blossom or blushing bride? Oh my God. The, one's retired and one's new and I can after you know 16 years like sometimes they blend oh Mary got the beach one off of beach theme off of that one too okay so these are our, the three card I'm just gonna put the card bases aside while we take a look at everything else this is probably like one of my favorite parts I always love the the goodies that come in it these are rain and dew droplet elements so it's like a rainy day theme so these just kind of fit in. We've got little poxy droplets that we can put to make it a 3D effect. And then we've got some nice uh, twine here, Baker's twine. We uh, already did the basic gray ink pad. Now when I make these, I did bring my full size ones since I cheated and peaked already. I brought my full size one so I can save that one for later because they do make great, um, great spots on the go. Thank you, Wanda Blushing Bride is current. Blush Blossom is old. <laughs> I want the old in with the new. So these are the adhesives. They got a full sheet of full sized Stampin' Dimensionals, and then um, we have mini glue dots. And since I have some uh, both of these out already and opened, I'm going to go ahead and use those. All right, let's get started. I'm going to open these. We're going to try to uh, follow the directions. I'm going to try. We'll see how far I get before I start going rogue. But I always like to say um, this is not only the episode that shows you how to make the paper pumpkin kits, but what not to do because guaranteed I'm going to screw something up. <laughs> it never fails. But you know what? It also shows you that you, there's no right, you know, there's no really, there's no mistakes in crafting, right? There's just happy accidents. So we just, we just always find a way around it. We make something different out of it or get more creative. So I'm just popping out the um, cute little die cuts that were, I'm just doing one sheet um, because like I said, there's, there's four sheets because there's four of each card, but let's go ahead and pop all those out. So we're ready to rock and roll. All right. So we are going to use the No Matter the Weather stamp set. That is the set that um, comes with the kit and the other stamp set, which I'll bring back out after is um, the free set, the free bonus they gave us that is stinking adorable and I'm so grateful for it. So the first step says stamp sentiments on the labels and stamp textures on the card bases. So we have three labels here and three sentiments. Now if this is your first paper pumpkin kit, you will get a block with your kit. And I'm not sure if I shared this, so I'm gonna go back just in case I, I forgot. Um, but if you collect these, I have a free PDF download um, that's going to come up on the resource page as soon as I post it. And that will have an insert that you can put inside the uh, stamp cases. And I have the information on how to get the stamp cases and the free download on the resource page for you. So you can store these on the shelves right up there next to all of your other stamps. I like to make that easy to find too. I have them up there, I think, for the past, the last a little over a year. So you can go back and, and get old ones if you have older kits. Okay, so we have one that is amazing things. This one says, uh, you're capable of amazing things. We're gonna put that one on blue. I'm just lining up how they have them. Let, let love grow. And the other one is, no matter the weather, we are in this together. What? I'm telling you, right? This could not be more appropriate. Love you guys. All right, let's start stamping. So again, if this is your first kit, you're gonna get a block in it, but just the first one has the block after that. You can use reuse the same block. So I'm gonna show you two tools that are very handy for all stampers um, if you're just getting started. And that is the take your pick tool, which I will be using. I will be using to pick stuff up with this, as well as the chamois, simple chamois. And this is a cleaner for your stamps. So those two, I think, and I mean, you don't have to have them to get started, but I think that's the first thing I would put on my list. 
All right, so no matter the weather, we're in this together. I'm gonna to stamp that on the circle, and then we're gonna go ahead and, oh, I don't like my stamp job on that. Let's just turn that over. So you know what? Every circle has two sides. Let's try that again. Beautiful, much better. All right, so here's why chamois comes in handy. Chamois! And then we're just gonna reuse this block, stick that right back on there, and then we're gonna go with you are capable of amazing things. And you are. And the last one is let your love grow. And if you guys are popping on here late, I have a couple of these um, to, to, I have a couple for sale. I usually give them away and I decided to sell them so I could get them in your hands quicker. Um, I don't normally do that and I, I'm, I, I probably won't do it in the future, so I wouldn't count on that, but, um, I don't know. I just felt like everybody needs a stamp in their hands right now. <laughs> Maybe it's me, but it's helping me. So we've stamped those. Our next step is we are going to, um, stamp the background. So I'm used, taking the same block and I'm, the reason why I'm using the same block is just because if you're new and you're just getting this paper pumpkin kit, um, you're only going to have the one block and then we sell blocks. You can purchase more blocks so that you can accumulate, um, in your stash. All right. So the first card is the boots. Let's see what we got here. It looks like it's this one. I think I'm going to have to go look at the color picture. Let's see. Oh yeah, I should have said, um, if you're interested in the paper pumpkin kits, as soon as I put up the resource page, I'll post and there'll be a link to purchase them. First to purchase, them. first to pay gets them. Um, okay. looks like this one's got a little bit of dash and a little bit of splash. Good time. So I'm going to put a little dash on here for the bottom. I'm going to remove my hair that thought it wanted to be part of the card. Nobody wants that. <laughs> All right, so this this is just like a little bit of uh, terrain here. So we're going to just kind of randomly stamp that all around, around the bottom. And I intentionally did that off the edge. And once we get that done, again, little... Oh, oh you were sweet, Angie. She says she cased one of my uh camera cards from the, the capture the good stamp set that i designed with stampin up i love that thanks for sharing that that makes me happy so there's a little tiny um stamp in here that's not tiny tiny but it's hard to see on the probably on the camera until i start stamping with it and it's raindrops so we're going to go ahead and randomly stamp raindrops all around because it's like it's raining right And I intentionally go off the edge whenever I'm doing random stamping because you want it to kind of have that look of motion. You don't want it to look like it's all too straight and narrow. So we got raindrops falling on her head all over the background. And again, shammy. It does, doesn't it, Carolyn? Paper pumpkin every month outdoes them. Every month I think, well, they, they can't outdo this one. And then every month they do. Every month it's just something cooler. All right, and this one is um, cloudy. So we're gonna take the cloud stamp over there. And we're gonna go ahead and stamp that randomly over here again. I don't know, I don't think that one came out so good. There we go, that's better. Oh, thanks, Angie. She said it helped get her better. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. And I already lost a card. Seriously? There it is. <laughs> there you guys are like, how does she survive? Seriously? <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. Okay, so this last card, it looks like the dots. So these are like a little um, gravel almost. And 
And we're going to go ahead and stamp that on the bottom here. So I can't tell if there's anything else in the sky here, but I'm just going to leave it. It looks like maybe they have some raindrops on that one too, but that's okay. So I'm just taking the chamois and we're going to put all that right back in here. And I think our stamping part is done. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this back up and I'm going to put that in one of those stamp cases that I was mentioning. And we are going to start with step number. I think that was all step number one, right? So step number two is wrap twine around the umbrella card base and tie a bow. Oh, a bow. Oh, good times. They want me to tie a bow in front of people. How embarrassing. Don't judge me. <laughs> Especially not today. My hands are probably shaking. Okay, so I should have measured that out because there is a little ruler here that on the bottom of this so that we know where 30... Actually, that said 32 inches. Oh, well, I'm only wrapping mine around once. Remember how I said this is how you learn um, what not to do? So if you would like to wrap your twine around um, multiple times, as shown, you want 32 inches of twine, not 12. And where do we want to tie that? I think we want to tie that on this side, according to the, the photo. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be totally honest with you right now. I don't think my fingers can do a bow today. I think I'm just a little too shaky. So I'm just going to go with a knot. Does that work for you guys? All right, we're gonna do a little knot because you know what? It's all good and it all looks great. There we go, Woo, got it. All right, so next up it says wrap two 11 inch pieces of twine around the yellow boots. Wrap two 11 inch pieces of twine around the yellow boot. Oh, I see. Oh, I see what they did there. They did like a double, a double. Oh gosh, they're doing bows again. Oh my gosh, they're really trying me today, aren't they? <laughs> I think I'm going rogue right here. Step three, I think it's happening. <laughs> I know you guys take bets, right? Uh, when, when, I, when it's going to happen, when I'm going rogue. Well, I didn't make it to step three this time. Then you know what? The past couple of months, I've actually finished. I've actually gotten all, all the way through the instructions as instructed, and I was so impressed. <laughs> but, uh, yep, this time. Step three, here it goes. I am not tying a bow. I am tying a knot. And I did double tie it, though. I did do a double there, but I think you could probably just wrap it around. <sighs> I don't know. I feel guilty. I cut off exactly 11 inches like they said and I feel guilty if I don't do a bow now because there's so much left over all right here goes no judging <laughs> all right and oh hey that didn't come out too bad did it you know Mary you're right we were all a little little off today but I'll tell you what I don't feel I don't feel alone. You know, they talk about social distancing, but I don't feel alone. Maybe physically we're social distancing, but I feel like we're all together right now. And I'm just pretending you guys are all here with me. It's nice to be able to have you here while I'm, while I'm doing my little stamp therapy. Okay. So we wrap that around the, oh, I, okay. So I guess I didn't, I was, I, I was so tempted to go off, but I, I, I don't know. I felt bad about cutting off all that extra twine oh thanks for the hearts you guys and step four says adhere die cut and stamped labels with the stamping dimensions okay so this one i this one i cheated on i didn't tie the bow do you think i can tie the bow on this one let's see i mean i i feel like now i feel empowered because i did it on the other one but you know what? that's not so bad that's not so bad sometimes i just don't give myself enough credit here we go all right so we got stamping dimensionals and we're going to attach. So let's see, we've got, I'm going to line up everybody up. So we, these guys go here and these go here. Oh, I cannot wait to make alternate cards because I'm already having visions in my head of some things that we can do with this. I love that. I 
gets exciting thinking about that. All right, so these flowers go here, and who's got hearts? Hmm. All right. Let's see. We have a heart. I only see, okay, you guys, shout out here that, that have done this already. I only see one of these hearts here. Why do we have so many hearts? What am I missing? You know what? I'm just putting hearts everywhere. Darn it. <laughs> it's happening. Oh, yeah, it's happening. All right, so we are adhering the boots. I think all of the boots here with um, Stampin' Dimensionals. So I'm going to flip all the boots over and put some Stampin' Dimensionals on that. You could cut all of these boots apart and make different cards out of them, make multiple cards out of them. That is definitely a good idea. They are a rainbow of boots, and that was getting me, you know, thinking about rainbows. I'm actually um, creating a really, really cool kit for the upcoming um, autism fundraiser that I do every year. And um, I, I, I love rainbows because um, it's always something I do in honor of my designer Veronica Zalis and her son and they love rainbows so I like to I like to make it rainbow themed and this was just kind of reminding me of that all right so we're just gonna peel the backing off of these I'm just gonna throw them on the floor clean it up later <laughs> are there several different sizes no they all look the same at least at first glance, I think they're all the same, Janet. I don't know. I'm going to use them. In the picture, I only see one, but I'm going to use them. Okay, so I feel like we're going to line up the um, the green boots with the, the green boots on the card, but I want to move this bow so you can see it because I spent, you know, that extra. I went the extra mile to, to tie the bow. I want it to be seen. So I'm just going to kind of scooch it there. All right. And, oh, I love it already. Look at how cute that is. So cute. All right, so this one, got some boots, boot scooting. And I want to line the grass up here. I want to make sure these boots are lined up with the grass below it. Yeah, we never know about the refills, Pamela. Um, she's asking about, you know, hoping that they have refills to this kit. We never know. Um, if the second run, they always have two runs of um, when they do the payments in case the, in case somebody's payment had an issue. And so they'll do another run, I think, in a couple of days. And then after that, if there's any left over, then they um, will put the refills for sale in our online store. And we did have a couple recently, but... It seems like lately, before um, last month, there were no refills. I mean, these were selling out like mad. And why? I mean, I can see why. They're, I mean, it's such a great value. And just, like I said, it's just fun stuff to do when you, you need to keep busy. All right, so... I'm just going to go ahead and, and stick all these little guys down. It looks like I am missing. Now nah, I'm going to put the words down after I see them. I see them below, but I'm going to cut them, put them, put them after. Oh, I don't want to cover up those cute little boots. Let's see. All right. So this heart looks like it's mini glue dot, maybe. If I had a mini dimensional, I would stick that um, on there, but we'll just use mini glue dots because I want to follow the kit as much as possible. <laughs> okay, so what? Don't be naughty. That goes right in a little heart over our bunny rabbit. And you know what? I'm going to do a snail. Sorry, I'm cheating. I'm cheating. I'm going to put some snail on. Actually, do you think that one was snail or do you think that one was popped up. I want to pop that one up. I'm taking back the snail on that one and I'm putting dimensionals on it. I love, I love dimensionals anyways. I like everything popped up. I want it all to pop and just jump out at you when you open it up like a big old heart. All right. This one though, I feel like this was, um, 
This one was down flat, so we'll put some snail on that one. No matter the weather, we are in this together, right? And this one, I think it's flat on. Oops. Almost did that one backwards. There we go. Well, that would be fun. <laughs> Having an upside down. All right, I'm using some more of these because I don't know. They're here. I'm using them. Just a little, I don't know. They weren't on the picture, but I'm doing it anyway. Besides, I like I like things in three. All right, this one looks like there is another little um a ribbon on the side here I can see. I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep going though. All right, so now for the fun stuff. We're gonna get to use the rain dew drops. And here I'm using the, the take your pick tool. So those are the two things was the, the chamois and the take your pick tool that I highly recommend. And I cannot tell, there's round ones and there's raindrops and I can't tell which is which, but where we have raindrops on this lady, I am gonna go ahead and put raindrops on here. And then, can you guys see that? Oh my God, it's so stinking cute. So adorable. Yes, they're raindrops. They're uh, like a little clear epoxy raindrops and I'm putting more raindrops here under these storm clouds. Can you see them on there? They're just adorable. They just add that perfect, perfect touch to it. Now on this one, I'll use the round ones on this one. I'm using the take your pick tool, which is like a Swiss army knife. It has all different attachments and they're double sided. Right now I'm using the putty end and um, somebody in my group asked this yesterday. So I want to make sure that I, I share it. Um, she asked, how do you get the putty out of the putty end? And you just twist it and the putty comes out and then um, it, it it's like an eraser, right? Because you, you have to keep doing it. Like you use it, uh, you use it and then you, you want to do it again. Um, but these twist out. That one I think is just one, but this side does. So we have different attachments for it. And then we also have a, um, when we have dies, we have the, the, the die brush attachment that goes on it too. That, so you can interchange them. It is like a little Swiss army knife, right? All right. So those are our cards out of the box. I hope I did them justice. <laughs> Oh, it's always a good time. So don't run away because we're just getting started. As promised, um, because I cheated, I have bonuses for us. Um, I I couldn't wait to see what the free stamp set was. You know, it was their seven year anniversary. So they had a free stamp set in the box and it's called Spring Splash. And it matches the kit really nicely. It, it can be used together or it can be used separately. So I went ahead and um, played with it. I took the, um, these are the scallop note cards, Stampin' Up! sells these are in my online store, but they're scallop note cards. So there's, um, the, and they're, they're, they're very similar colors to the kit. So I thought this was perfect match and they have matching envelopes that go with them, right? They've got little scalloped envelopes. So they come in a little pack like this. So I took them and I took that stamp set and I started playing. I'll put the stamp set out so you can see it. So I stamped the boots here. I'll, I'll show you how I, I'll stamp. I'll make this one after, but I'll just show you the cards real quick. So this one is um, the basket. So these little flowers go in the basket. And we've got little bunny. Now all of this designer paper on the background all comes from the, um, This is the Pleased as Punch designer. It took me a minute to think of that. The Pleased as Punch designer series paper. I actually did a whole class on this a couple of weeks ago because it all matches the paper. This is available only till the end of the month. You can purchase this in my online store till the end of the month. It's part of the celebration coordination, but it's something that you can purchase that coordinates with stuff. So I used the little raindrops because I thought they coordinated perfectly and then the little Easter theme. And so I actually use the backsides for um, our little strips on the note cards here. 
This is great paper, by the way. It matches the tulip punch, the umbrella punch, and the heart punch, and the small blooms punch. So I'm a whole lot of coordination in that. All right, so as promised, uh, oh, and, and wait, but wait, there's more. There's matching envelopes, right? So I stamped a little, I didn't stamp the green one, but I did stamp the, uh, the other two so that they matched the little cards. So cute, right? So let's go ahead. We'll just make the boots. The rest of them, I think you can get the idea. When I when we make, we'll make one and then I think you can, you'll know how to make the rest, right? So let's get started. We are going to stamp our boots. Boots are made for walking or stamping. Sorry, I attached it so it wouldn't go flying around the desk because sometimes I have the habit of losing things while I'm going live and that's embarrassing. Okay, so let's just take off the back and I'm gonna go ahead and I have a couple of blocks here, so speed that up a little bit. Put those on one block. And well, I thought I had a couple of blocks. I guess we're not going to speed it up. Sorry. I guess I don't. Oh, there they go. Shoo. <laughs> I thought I was losing my mind. I might be losing my mind. I might just be doing that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take the basic gray that we used with the cards. And I like the, the pretty peacock. Thought it added a little bit. And so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp the outline of the boots first. Aren't they adorable? I mean, we could just watercolor these, and uh, there's so many ideas, or you could use the Stampin' Blends and make some fun colors. But wait till you see this, all right? So this, and uh, yesterday when we did the Stampin' Scoop, Linda said there is a stamp set in here that was totally her. This is it. Watch this. Boom! Right? Can you guys see that? Oh my gosh, so adorable. I love it. I absolutely, I want a pair. <laughs> it, it, it stamped little flowers, so I'm already thinking of all kinds of fun things that I can do with these little flowers on the boots. They're so stinking cute. So anyways, that's um for this one, for just a, for quickie. Well, this, I'll, we'll just keep going there. And we're going to take some paper snips, if I can find those. And if not, we're going to use big scissors because that's all I can see. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. All right, so I can't find my snips, so I'm cutting them out. I know normally I have these cut out for you, but I really, you know, I, I, I was having so much fun stamping that I wasn't even thinking about preparing ahead of time. So you guys are like, oh, actually, you know what? I'm not doing too bad with these scissors. They're not snips, but they're working. <laughs> So we got our boots and then what I think is a staple in everybody's collection is the um, stitch shapes dies. There are circles, there are squares, and there are ovals. So I took two of the circles here and one out of Whisper White and one out of the um, Pretty Peacock that I just stamped the boots in so everything matches. I'm going to go ahead and stick that on there. I'm going to go ahead. This is, I just did a strip of designer series paper here. It's the back of the umbrella is the, uh, how appropriate, right? The back of the umbrella is the raindrops. And take our note card. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have put that ink pad away just too quick there because there's one more thing I want to stamp. So we'll go ahead and stick that little strip on the front. And then we will take some dimensionals. So this is how quick and easy these go together, right? So these scalp note cards are available in my online store. They are really great to throw things together if you're, you know, wanting to make something quickly. Or, or if you wanted to make a whole batch of things for a gift for somebody, you could do that too. I think my son just got home. I apologize for all the footsteps upstairs. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and stick that here. And these little note cards are the same size as the cards that came in the kit, which is kind of cool. And 
and then our boots on top. And then if you wanted to, you could put a sentiment there, but wait, I did say I wanted to do one more little thing of stamping and that was the envelope. The raindrops are upside down. It's raining up. You're right, Wanda. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's that kind of day, right? It's raining up. And, oh my gosh, I just love these. I just love these. This is what's known as a two-step stamper. We have the two steps. So we have the matching scalloped envelope to go with it. And then I have these other three that I made. These are all from the stamps that were in the um, the free stamp set. This is the, um, let's see, I, they'll stay down for me. This stamp set was called um, Spring Splash, the one that was in the kit. And I'll give you another quick look if you didn't get a chance to see the stamp sets. The the one on the left is the uh, the no matter the weather stamp set that came in the kit. And the one on the right is the free stamp set that I just used to create these note cards with. And um, I'll give you a quick little peek here. These are the supplies that I used here for the note cards. They're so easy, right? And just quick and easy. We've got the, the note cards all come already fold, all, you know, not folded, but already cut, die cut, scalloped, really cute with envelopes to match. We've got the please just punch paper, which the colors all coordinate. Everything kind of goes together. It just happens to be the same color palette and the stitch shape dies and then the, the stamp set there. And, um, that was it. I hope you enjoy the cards. I will put my um, resource page up. Uh, give me about a half hour. I will post on my Facebook page as soon as it is up. And anybody who wants to purchase one of those kits that I have, just jump on it fast because the first one's to pay, get them. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me for the Paper Pumpkin. I, I, will, I will actually be back on Friday. I'm like, I'm loving doing the videos this week, so it's helping me. <laughs> I hope you're having fun too. All right. Thank you and see you on Friday.